Alright guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome back to Star Citizen Alpha 3 on the test server. So here I am then approaching what I've termed in the video title as a moon base. It is, I'll admit, a bit of a misdescription here because the body in front of us is Delamar, not a moon, but a rather large asteroid. Or if we want to be more specific perhaps we could call it a planetoid. Either way, it's the largest object in the Nyx belt. And here is Levski an old abandoned mining outpost which has been retconned into something else, a new hub of activity. Now you may remember me visiting here at the end of the previous video and for the life of me I couldn't land here despite actually communicating like this. This communications channel doesn't always work and even when it is functioning you can see the camera angle is a little bit off. For some reason we're staring at the traffic controller's chest rather than their face. Nonetheless, once you've got permission to land it's a rather impressive sight. One of the bays opens up and you can land right inside of that. I took it slow because the ships have a way of accelerating very very fast if you're not too careful and that can cause quite some problems, i.e. exploding ships. Now you might have noticed, comparatively speaking at least, that the frame rates are not too bad here but that's something I'm going to talk about a bit further into the video because more often than not they are very much a problem. Now that's something a lot of people will say don't worry about after all it is still on the test server but nonetheless, it's not a subject that can be ignored. So Levski then is a very large base indeed. We're going to have a bit of a walk around here and just look at the shadows there as the landing bay actually closes back up again. Nice little touch. The ship's control panels can sometimes be a little fiddly. Sometimes it's a bit difficult to actually find out where the options are that you need and in case you're wondering, I'm using a mouse and keyboard here. Even still though, I really do enjoy the way we can interact with the ship. Now as far as I can tell, there's not a huge amount we can do at Levski just yet. We can interact with some of the uh, shops here, basically picking up guns or clothes or different flight suits. Also, the famous Miles Eckhart is here from one of those Star Citizen videos, that's the official videos from last year. Although at the moment he doesn't seem to give out any uh, missions, at least not that I could see. So once you take the lift down from the hangar, you'll find that you can go through customs and here in Tolevsky proper. And it's here where the scale of the place really does hit you. As you work through the base, you'll find an increasing amount of detail. But even as you look out of the windows, the detail doesn't disappoint, as you can see right across the immediate surface of the planet and down into the excavation area of the old mining site. Now, there are a lot of areas dotted around Levski, which I assume are going to come into play later on in further iterations of the game. Here is the habitation area, and you can see a whole bunch of, well, habitation pods. These are basically like uh, truck containers with doors on the front, all of them are currently locked. But I imagine inside, in principle at least, they'd be very similar to what you find on Crusader when you initially wake up. Now one of the things that CIG have always made a big deal about is how everything is interactable within Star Citizen. And that of course includes things such as the lifts, no hidden loading screens here or no box type containers to hide for the view from you. As you use a lift you get a perfect splendid view of everything around you. Although yes the controls are still a little bit fiddly and that's not helped by lag or the low frame rates. Right here is a glitch that's quite common and this is a hitch or a freezing moment, they can last for a fair old while, a few seconds and as you see here, eventually everything kicks back into place and it starts working again. I'll say it here, but I'm sure it'll be pointed out many times in the comments section below, this of course is still on the test server. No idea yet when it's going to make it to the live server, but it's still got a fair way to go before it's completely stable. That said, I've noticed this particular build is much more stable than the build I was playing on on the previous video. I didn't suffer from any disconnects or any crashes whatsoever on this occasion. The main glitch or the main problem was the frame rates. So here we're at Grand Barter then. You can walk down here to the market and to the bar or you can choose other pathways that will lead you on a bit of a tour of the base. So from time to time you will get communications like this one. On this occasion, the guy's telling me that I need to move my ship. This is the second occasion he's told me. The first one was just a little warning. This time, he's telling me that he's going to move my ship into storage. The reason for this is because other people want to use a landing pad. So yeah, I think that's quite a nice touch. 
But you'll also notice that as more and more people arrive around here, you'll get increasingly poor performance. So this then is Miles Eckhart. He's the guy who gave out one of the missions in the official uh, trailers back at Gamescom 2015 or 2016. I can't remember quite which one it was. But like I said early on, he doesn't actually give any missions just yet. Not as far as I could see at any rate. So at the moment at least, there's not a huge amount of gameplay here at Levski. But you can see all the slots and areas where that's planned for. As you walk around though, one thing that will impress you are the visuals. Levski, even if a little barren at the moment, is stunningly realised. And it really is this attention to detail that CIG are famous for. And this really is a point that can't be taken away from CIG, no matter what people say about Star Citizen at the moment. Of course, not everything is fine, and that's well known. Some places just lead nowhere. Fortunately, I was able to back out there and didn't end up falling into an endless void. I haven't returned back here just yet to see what should be through that door. Maybe it'll be empty next time, or just maybe something else will be there. So the ambience of the marketplace just oozes atmosphere, and that's both the great visuals as well as great audio. And as you walk around and come into some of the shops, you'll be able to pick up a few utilities here, such as weapons. You can actually purchase these. I haven't gone out and actually used one, though. But they're very easy to pick up. You can inspect it or just outright buy it. The same is true in Game for Clothes. This is back on uh, Port Olisar. And you can try out jackets and pants, hats and just about anything else. These you can also purchase. It's a neat little system and a very nice way of trying out things you may want to buy. So then I'd be remiss if I didn't comment on the frame rates here. And this of course isn't going to be something I'll mention in every single video. In the next Star Citizen video you're no doubt bound to see the same issue with the frame rate. So I'm not going to highlight it every time. But it does deserve a mention here. As you can see on screen right now, the frame rates are pretty much abysmal. And you can see it's not a problem with my system. I'm not getting the max CPU usage, and there's plenty of room to spare on the GPU. Same is so for memory, although this game does seem to take quite a lot of memory when compared to many others. It's still well within my system limits. People will point out to you though that this seems to be network related, and that's proven by people going offline with the game, Although that requires a hack now, that's against the terms of service, so I can't actually show you here. Before you return back to your hangar, you can use one of the panels to spawn a ship. This can be any ship that you actually own. Whilst on the test server though, there's a whole variety of vehicles you can use. And I've actually got access to this land vehicle here. Unfortunately though, I wasn't able to use it on this particular occasion, because for whatever reason, I wasn't able to leave the uh, base. However, that's something I'm going to look at in the next Star Citizen video. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.